Hi, our last session was about critical path. Critical path actually is very important. We need to know calculation, how critical path works. For making a schedule in Primavera, we actually don't need to know the calculation part for critical path. You just need to enter the activities, give the duration, link them, run the schedule. Primavera will automatically calculate the dates, floats, everything. There is no need for you to buy hard the critical path method calculations. But if you want to be strong in planning, you need to remember the critical path calculations. Throughout the project, there will be questions regarding dates regarding floats. In every project there are meetings. Mostly weekly meetings will be there, monthly meetings will be there. In all those meetings, every question regarding schedule, dates, date calculations, floats, everything, every question will be asked to you, planning engineer, because they don't know how the dates are calculated. So they will ask you how you got this date, how you got that date. You will get too many questions like that. You need to make many reports throughout the project. Okay. All those reports are filled with calculations, numbers, too many numbers. These numbers include dates, resource related numbers like man hours, manpower, cost will be there. Many types of numbers will be there. If you need to use those dates, floats and all in reports, you need to know how those are generated. So for all those things, you need to know critical path method calculation. Apart from this calculation part, how do we use critical path? In project, the planning part is mainly divided in two sections. First, the planning part and second, the monitoring and controlling part. Now in planning part, what will happen? We will make a schedule. Then we will finalize it. We will fix that schedule. Planning part is over. Now the monitoring and controlling part, what will happen? We will update the schedule based on the actual project progress. That will happen throughout the project and the project will finish. Now in the first stage, planning, how do we finalize a schedule? The process is first we make a schedule, we will complete our schedule, then this schedule is reviewed by client and our team. First our team will review it. Now how do we review the schedule? First we will print the critical path only. Suppose our project has like 1000 activities. When we filter critical path, it may only contain maybe 50 or 40 activities. It's not like critical path will only contain 50, 40. And example I am saying, suppose our critical path only contain 40 activities. So we print that critical path. Then we make the copies of hard copies of this critical path. We will go to the meeting, give the copy to everyone and everyone will discuss based on that critical path only. We will go through the critical path. If anything is wrong means we will correct that and make that change in our schedule. Then again we print the critical path. Again we will review that. Like that the process will continue and until the critical path is correct we will repeat that process and once the critical path is okay then we will review the other activities. Then if any mistakes are there we will correct that one also and then we finalize the schedule. So the critical path is important here. Why we are reviewing the critical path first? Because the project's end date, we got the project end date based on this critical path only. If critical path is wrong, our project end date it is wrong. That's why we review the critical path first. So that's the importance of critical path in planning stage. Planning part is finished. Now we move to our monitoring and controlling part. Our project already started. We start updating our project. This updating and all things we will study later. There are upcoming sessions regarding monitoring and controlling. During the updation stage, the critical path keep changing because every day we are updating project. Every day the dates are changing. Suppose our project started after like five months, our project delayed 10 days. Why that project delayed 10 days? They will ask us only planning. Then what we will do? We will print the critical path and give that to them. In critical path, viewing the critical path, we will know which activity delayed. In meeting, we will review that one. And we will give high priority to that delayed activities and we will try to finish that activity as soon as possible. So practically we use critical path in these ways. Next thing is reports. Throughout the project, we will make different, different, different type of reports. In all those reports, we will mention dates, critical path. When we mention those things in reports and given to everyone, if someone asks us question, why that date came, why those date came, why this float is less, like that questions will come. So if we need to answer properly, we need to know how the critical path works. We need to know the late date, early date, what's the difference between them, how they are calculated. Because normal persons, normal side person don't know that one. If someone has planning knowledge, they will know. Other persons don't know. For one activity, there will be two dates, right? Early date, late dates. So they don't know what is the difference between these two. They will ask us. So if we need to give them proper reply, we need to know how this works. So those are the importance of critical path in project. In planning, we need to understand some highly important theories. One of them is this one, critical path calculation. For understanding the date calculation, float calculation, everything, we need to know how the critical path works and we need to know how to apply 
this one in projects now one more thing is there if project delays suppose in a project updation stage our project delays 10 days in every week or monthly basis we need to submit our schedule the updated schedule to client now our company don't want to show this delay to our client our boss will tell us to adjust the delay decrease the delay so how do we do that we do that by playing with the critical path we filter the critical path and we there are many methods decreasing the duration making activities parallel for example two activities are there like finish to start we make the two activities like this we will add lag lag and everything we will learn later in upcoming sessions so there are many methods we will play in critical path and we will decrease the delay or make the delay zero actually that's not the right way but it happens so for those old things we need to know how critical path works we need to know the calculation part so that's all about critical path see you in a session